Today I want to talk about three significant barriers for entrepreneurship. Things that you rarely hear discussed, but make up the majority of life as an entrepreneur. The theme of this, all three significant barriers, are dealing with bullshit. As soon as you decide to become an entrepreneur, or really as soon as I decided to become an entrepreneur, it seemed like the entire world was shaped on killing that dream. It was all about trying to kick me out of entrepreneurship, get me back into an office. The first thing I wanna talk about related to this is having an empty bank account for the first time. So it was 15 days after I had first quit my job. This was maybe two and a half, two years ago, three years ago. And I looked into my bank account and I saw that there was no money in it. I think there was maybe like $40 in there. And the big realization I had was we had two clients at the time and neither client had paid yet. And I realized that if I didn't go and ask these clients for money, ask them to pay, I wasn't gonna be able to afford rent. That was the moment. And that was one of the first times in my life where I actually worried about making rent because I was used to that weekly paycheck. I remember one time I was in Las Vegas and I was living basically day to day in hotels and Airbnbs and we had a gap where I had to buy a hotel room and I didn't have enough money for this hotel room. So I ended up almost having to sleep on the street. It was down to the wire at 12.01 AM, the money finally cleared in the account and I was able to buy the hotel room. But it's those up and downs that really take a toll. So the other thing people don't talk about is being threatened with lawsuits. One was after Inspire Beats collapsed, the guy basically demanded 2000 bucks from me personally, even though I wasn't on the business account and I, I gave it to him, I was scared. And then the other times are just disagreements with clients. Maybe they wouldn't have actually led to a lawsuit, but anytime anyone's threatening you with that legal action, that tears at you. That makes you wanna quit entrepreneurship. That makes you wanna go and get that cushy job, right? Like if you worked at Microsoft, you're not gonna have to deal with getting sued. That's just not something you're gonna have to deal with. And the worst thing I learned about lawsuits in general is people can just threaten them based on anything. You can follow every single thing in your contract down to the letter. And if they want to, they can still threaten a lawsuit. They can still make you lawyer up. And it, it just costs money every time. But what it really costs is uh, soul points. It causes like pieces of your soul every time this stuff happens. Another thing like that actually is number three, which is customers complaining. When we were first starting, especially before we figured out the marketing process and before we got these marketing reviews, when we were working with SaaS companies, we would get complaints about our quality of leads. We would get complaints about how good we were. Let's say it takes 45 days to get new meetings on the calendar. By day 15, people would want refunds. Before we did year long contracts, people would want to cancel after a month with no results. And a lot of it we fixed by laying out better expectations. For an agency, you're probably not going to see an ROI for six to 12 months, but when you do, it's going to be a huge ROI. So you need to have patience there. So it's really figuring those out. But again, each one of those complaints hurts because you own this business. This is something that's got your name on it where obviously you want people to succeed. You're not in it to rip people off. So when they complain, that hurts. Let me know in the comments. Do you have any similar stories like this? Is there anything that new entrepreneurs should know that nobody really talks about? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions about any of these, I think they'd make good video topics as well. If you found this valuable, be sure to like it to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more B2B sales training. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.